funny. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cold Ones. Bonjour, comment ça va? Um, shout out to our sponsors today. They're on screen. I don't know what they are. One's cool <laughs> shirts. One of them's cool shirts. Head over to shirts with a Z. Cool, cool and use code Cold Ones for 10% off. Man, this show sucks. I'm anything for views. And I have coronavirus. Today joining me is my co-host, Max. And I actually have coronavirus, I think, maybe. I can't drink a lot this episode, but, but I, I still might try. Good. We'll see. Good. Chad's forcing me to. And today's guest is Baby Dome Money and Dan. I don't want to get coronavirus. <coughs> This sucks. I'm Podcast sorry. Sucks. I'm sorry. I'm You're so ruining sorry. It. We have questions. <laughs> Chad's the host, so we'll see how prepared he is. I was. I, I can't get away with it. I'm just co-host. He was doing the research today. He was doing the research. Oh, yeah. you, what research do you got for us, Chad? <laughs> uh, we went to a concert at Laneway. Yeah, Hit let's start pit. off with what you guys have been doing in Australia. Uh, I got <laughs> booked. I got booked for a tour, and that's pretty much it. I, I, I honestly like. I was uh I was sober until the twenty fourth of uh January and then this tour started and I have, I've been drunk ever since. That's pretty much it. Honestly. Lit. You have to do you actually have tonsillitis? Still? Yeah, you wanna see my tonsils right now? All right, do it. Look at the camera and show the camera. Can you see that? Hi, hi. You still went up on stage and and performed today. Uh, trooper. Yeah. Absolute trooper. Who gives a hoot in hell? All right, let's start this podcast off with the story when we all first met a few days ago, <laughs> shall we? Shit. Kind of, why are you dreading it? He was the one throwing up. Did I throw up? Oh, wow. Did I? Actually, oh, you got I some on my leg. Throw on my shoes. I literally, I literally don't remember. I was saying before, it's scary being blackout drunk. I don't remember any of that. We rocked up. We rocked up early. Max and I rocked up early. You were asleep. Yeah, I was. I was. You were a different man. Man, you guys were like, you guys I'm were like, oh, now. let's turn up, let's turn up. And I was like, all right, give me, give me like, give me a little bit. I'm just trying to sleep. You were yeah. drinking tea. Yeah, I was drinking tea, exactly not drinking trying to talk tea. to anybody. I usually don't like talking to anybody before my sets because. I have to do a lot of talking in front of mm -hmm. a lot of other people. But afterwards, I'm usually like, all right, Bruh. who cares? The work, is, the work done. is done. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, go ahead. We rocked up. You were sleeping. You had a tea. Dan came down and got us. We got mauled walking in because, you know, we're a bit famous. You know, we're a bit famous. We yeah, I felt like it was my show, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting photos. <laughs> we got there and you're like, I have a bowl of vodka. And that disappeared instantly. Like, I remember mm -hmm. at one point I was holding it on my own, just drinking it. Swagger showed up, Toby showed up, I Nut showed up, every, all the misfits showed up, and there was no more vodka because everyone else was drinking. And I went to the bar and I asked the bartender. There was like, a bar there, was there? <laughs> there was a bar downstairs. Was there actually? Yeah. I don't remember. So that I shuffled either. through, I went to the bar and I was like, give me a bottle of vodka. I've had $200 for a bottle of vodka at the bar, uh, not tequila. And then that's when it was all downhill. So then afterwards, you're f and you you weren't drinking at this point still. You were just chilling on the couch, and we were just all fucking with around. Yeah, like everyone, everyone was already. You were drinking a little bit, a lot. I say a little I bit. think I remember lot. you. He, he was a little turned up when I when he got on stage for sure. Max was on the stair just before your performance with a towel. I don't know where he got the towel from. Cleaning up tequila and OJ off the staircase. You don't want someone else to trip over your mistake. Bro. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> and then you started performing. Fitz and I got down the crowd. No, we came up on stage first, and we all did the shoeies. Yeah, the shoeies disgusting. Did I do a shoe? I you was did on a shoe. Yeah, I kind of remember that. I think I only pieced that together from videos that I saw. That was that's probably one of the most drunk nights I've it ever was, had. It I was. Think. Yeah, I so said that was the top three I've ever seen you. Yeah, getting that drunk. I remember one. There was one night that I had during like high school that. I beer bonged a whole bottle of wine and then I had like a placement test the next day and I was just like throwing out projectile vomiting outside this person's house. But like getting that drunk sucks sometimes. Yeah. I don't think you can get that drunk and it'd be good the next day. There's no way. There's literally no the way. The missing memory is terrifying. That's the I kind of it's kind of it's kind of the funny. fun part. Like it's kind of funny, together. yeah. yeah. If you're safe yeah. and you know you didn't get up to too much stuff. Like sure. if you know everything was like safe, because mm. like, you were supposed to be looking after me. I think. I don't know if you no, did. that was not my job. I don't think you did a job, a, a good job. No, I said Fitz, look after me. I don't think Fitz did a good job. No, with that. there's no looking after you when you're drunk because you just like. I'm surprised someone didn't steal my shit. Oh. Out of here. Wait, my hat did get stolen. 
Yeah, well, the guy messaged me. I have the Holy DMs. Shit. Like, some guy messaged me. He's like, I work out I have Max. Bunning, Bunnings Warehouse hat. Some guy messaged me the next day. He's like, I have Max's hat. Tell him I said thanks. After that, we did the shoeies on stage. Then Fitz and I got in the mosh pit. And my shoes, everyone did shoeies out of my Yeezys, which are now gone, sadly. There was See no it. cleaning them. Wait, uh, what happened to them? I washed them. They still smell like beer and Bundy rum. Why don't you give them to some fuck? Anyone would have liked those. They're covered in stains. So they're still Yeezys, bro. Well, I don't have a man. I mean, Put them up on my, eBay. My spit, my spit's eBay. on there, man. I hit the shoe out of it. But you, we'll sell them. should have signed them <laughs> and given them away. So then I had no shoes and I was in the mosh pit with no shoes. Pants, right, high riding. How did Definitely. you explain it? How did you no explain? shirt. All right, so when the, I saw him, he was like drunk on the left side. Afterwards, I don't know, like 20 minutes later, he was borderline naked in the middle of the crowd. No shoes, no socks, pants, high riding up, shirt long gone. Whatever he's wearing, I noticed all the way off. That. I gave him to him on stage. Yeah, it was. You're wiping your head, so I said, you wipe the sweat off with this. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, yeah, he was like probably you were probably like one of the more drunk persons in in the I crowd. And then and then Fitz was like, I, I I saw Fitz and he was like, yeah, <laughs> it was funny as fuck. The whole night was absurd. And then the show ended and we're all vibing. We're collecting all our stuff. <coughs> Carry on, Chad. Girl. We're collecting our stuff, and I remember Max just. I barely remember. You probably you remember it. Scott was there. Do you remember much? Yeah. yeah Max was and I was like, Scott, carry Max. And Scott's like, we have to get him somewhere safe. And then security was like, get the fuck out of the venue. You're drunk. <laughs> and we take him out the front of the venue. And everyone's like, Max, I want a pick. And Max is like, huh? <laughs> so uh, there's probably some photos out there. You should limp corpse on Scott and Fitz's shoulder. Yeah, I had a lot of messages in the morning just being like, are you okay? Did you make it home safe? Are you okay? In was the end, good? they let us take him back in and just sit near the entrance while he was sobering up. And then the guys were like, Everyone has to go, get the fuck out, and then we're carrying him out, and Max just starts throwing up while we're carrying him. It was <laughs> a good show, though. Very good. You did a good performance. It was fun. Do From what I can remember <laughs> or seen in videos. It was like, I remember the first time, yeah, the first time we did a show in Australia, it was cool, but there was something else about that. That Melbourne show was just like, this was the first show I've done, like a headline in Australia, and it was crazy. That was the first? That was the first, like, headline, like, solo cool. show. That's awesome. And I was like, damn. I brought all the misfits out. I brought you guys out, and it was like sick. We did get lit. It was a lit night, to say the least. And I don't remember what happened after that. You went, you went to misfits house. You ended up fucking bonging. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that either. It's kind of like I? forced onto you, to be honest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sounds like bong rape. It, well, it, was, it, like. it was the fan that gave him the bong. Yeah. Oh, the guy, the guy that the game with the. the yeah, I wasn't yeah. a yeah. fan of all. There was too many fans there. Too many fans. There was like place. four fans. Oh, I have a memory. I remember someone <laughs> looking up. It was quite pretty late, and there was a fan still standing there. And someone, someone had a conversation with them, being like, "You need to go." Like, that was you, me. Was it you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That, well, okay. You were looking up. Yeah. Because at, at the end yeah. of the yeah. night, everyone You're like, had, like, "You need to go home." Bro. Everyone had left. You call him an Uber or something. Yeah. Something like yeah. Everyone had left. The girls that came because we're like, "Let's invite girls. Let's make it cool party." The girls came. <laughs> the girls left, and everyone was just passing out. It's like five a.m. And this guy's like, I think I'll sleep here. And I was like, no, I don't think you will. <laughs> nah, bro. And then he's like, man, I can't get home. I've got no money. Like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, fuck it. So That's I booked, bullshit. Yeah, That's booked, total bullshit. So I booked him an Uber. He missed the first Uber. So I had to book him another one. And then he finally, and I had to like carry him into the Uber. And then I saw him again today. And he was fine. But it was like weird because it's like five o'clock in the every morning. Everyone's winding down. At that point, you're like, should think like, this isn't my house. I should leave. Max was passed out on the couch outside. The guy was sitting right beside him, took his glasses off, was like staring into his eyes, what stroking his hair. Yeah. Put his glasses yeah, back okay, on. Yeah, okay, Chad. I don't know stood if you up. Did a good job, bro. When was Walked this? over to the bush <laughs> and started taking a piss on the bush outside. Wait, who's pissing? Me or the dude? The guy who was like stroking oh, okay. your hair. Okay. Yeah. Hey, was, listen, uh, I don't have quite control the <laughs> over that. I, I wasn't even there at that point, was I? I don't know. I, Some I just, stuff might yeah. have happened to me that I don't remember. I'm, it might come up in traumatic events in the future where I'm <laughs> just like, Sometimes oh, no. it happens, dude. <laughs> so tell us how your music career started. That's a generic question. That's something BuzzFeed would ask. Uh, Give well, us a rundown. <laughs> how old were you? All right. This is how it started. I got a big rack like this, and I was like, I got to keep going, right? No. Have you uh, ever been paid in 
Just raw cash? No, I always take a wire transfer. I don't okay. Want, I don't want uh, the cash. second show we did, you got paid like 300 bucks in cash. Oh, uh, no. I get, I, I, that yeah. doesn't count. <laughs> 300, yeah. 300 yeah. bucks. Yeah, close enough. All right. So I started I started with this crew called uh, Broke Boy Gang. I was chilling outside my house high with him in his Tiguan. And his what? His Tiguan, Volkswagen like Volkswagen Tiguan. Tiguan. Okay. It's a decent car. Decent okay. car. Okay. Had All a good right. sound system at the time. He won't seem like code for a tent, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just tent. tenting outside my house. And uh, long story short, this other guy, Seb, called me up, called us up, and was like, hey, you'll pull up. We smoked another blunt, got extra high, and made a song, and I laughed over a Chief Keep type beat. And then pretty much the rest is history, not going to lie. Like, just really you liked making music. Over it. Like, literally, literally laughed, laughed over I was it. like, <laughs> What was the goal with that? Dude, I honestly think we were just like way too high that uh, okay. Okay. didn't really, there was no goal. Okay, okay. There was like, there was like the least amount of goals possible with that song. So you and Dan have known each other for a long time then. Yeah, I met yeah, him Dan, on. Dan, who the fuck are you? I Why met, are you great sitting question. here, bro? Well, I, I met no him idea. on uh, Modern I think Warfare 2. I just walked okay. in. Okay, this is his Modern Warfare 2 pal. Yeah, we Sweet. met uh, We met on COD. He was uh, one of those like little spur kids who used to yell in the <laughs> mic. <laughs> Total fucking spurg. Holy shit. Uh, and then one day he's like, yo, let's meet up. And I was like, that's kind of a creepy vibe. Might be like a six-year-old rapist. And we went and watched a movie together. Wait, how old were you at this time? Like uh, 12. 12, 13. Wow. Yeah. Then we watched the movie. It was all right. And then I came over to his house. No, no, no. no. You forgot the whole point. The first time you pulled up, I pulled up pantless. And I was like, yo, he you opens want the door. Noodle? He opens the door. He's wearing nothing except his underwear. Dark side of the moon, like Pink Floyd boxers and i'm like holy shit what the fuck's going on here why i walk into this house yeah like, why because i was gaming dude it's not my fault he was, oh, it was like house. Yeah, his yeah, yeah. whole You're life he's always been speak pantless. up i'm gaming <laughs> <laughs> we walk into his house i'm walking through the kitchen he introduces me to his mom we're walking upstairs <laughs> all right, all right. No, 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 no we're not we're not saying that we're not saying that. Wait, oh come what? on no no, no. no we got, we got, it, we got it. Later. We this is later. like this is the whole this right. is the whole point of the story we walk past his mom we're going upstairs to his room his mom's like, Alexander, you have guests over. You should clean your room. He turns around. He's like halfway up the stairs. Oh, no. He's like, die, mom. <laughs> like at the top of his lungs. <laughs> and I'm what like, holy fuck? shit. Like, what, did the, what the fuck did I sign wow. up for? It, it wasn't. I don't in his Pink Floyd <laughs> underwear. <laughs> like wearing nothing but die, his fucking mom. boxers. <laughs> I thought I, Canadians were supposed I, to be nice. No, no. <laughs> Especially uh, their, their he, was he was homeschooled. I was homeschooled and I have a really, 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 really good relationship with my parents it's like true. my mom and my dad like, sound like we love each other a lot but like it was i don't know maybe i was just trying to flex on daniel and be like yeah, yeah die mom. probably trying to act cool but like yeah i He's don't gotta know. understand the power dynamic <laughs> yeah i don't really understand why what was going on in my head but i just remember like my mom i, I used to like fuck with my mom all the time and still do. Like, it's definitely still do. Yeah. But uh, my mom's a G. Like, if, if if she was on this podcast, she would just be like... Shout out to Tina. Literally owning all of your guys' asses. You're with Broke Boy Gang? <laughs> yeah. How long did that last before you split and did your own thing? Before uh, you realized you were more talented? Who's Broke Boy Gang? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> How I was many probably, members were there? I'm not going to lie. It's probably like the least talented out of the whole crew. I just liked That's it true. the most. But it also that was... sucks to see your talented friends get left excel. behind. <laughs> But who excelled? Does Broke Boy Gang? They all, no. they they didn't all excel. genuinely, they're all doing great. Like okay. David, David what, is at teaching a, as a you, substitute teacher. No, he's at university. <laughs> he's uh, he's Manager. finishing his degree in bio, and then well, uh, yeah, see, he's Seb, doing different stuff. Seb, though. who Seb was like the main guy who like started it all. He's he has like a like a uh, like a vintage clothing store. Glory days vintage. That's and cool. then um, Aiden, he just got a job at Facebook, so he's. Out of here as fuck. And so they're not doing music anymore. No, none of them are doing music except for but me. You, but what you're saying is that were you were the least talented musically. For sure, he's the hardest working. For probably well, that's a, that's a skill in itself. It is, honestly. For sure, I think I've said that before. That's something that's overlooked. Like the people who just keep fucking going with it. Like that is a mm -hmm. talent to just do that. No doubt. That's what I say about um, all the shit that gets talked about Logan Paul. Like, it, but that is something that he has. Like, he just does not stop. Putting stuff out or doing things. That's right. like the key to pretty much anything. <laughs> rap Logan Paul. Yeah, you persevere. You can get shit I'm done. A, I'm a rap <laughs> Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure he DM'd me the same day David Dobrik DM'd me. It was like, you know when you get DMs and like there's like one, two, three, four, five, six yeah. on like the first like you click in. It was like both of them back to back. And I was like, wow, this is the most like 
popularized. DM them back, right? No, I said, I was like, hey, okay, thanks. I, I like your, you know, thanks. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's sick. Like, thanks for cool liking. Vlogs, bro. Yeah, like, good looks. This is dope. Well, like, they may have DM'd you, but who DM'd me? Actually, I think I DM'd you ages ago. You messaged me, like, right before I re-messaged you, like, on the 26th. Right? I reply to stories, Instagram stories. I'm not even sure, honestly. A good friend of mine was just like, yo, you know, you know, Chad, right? And I was like, yeah. You mentioned me so. by name? Okay. Live. No, no, it wasn't the name, but it was like, it was like cold ones. And then okay. and he was like, yo, views. cold ones. And then I was like, well, I'm pretty sure we're going to Australia and you guys are in Australia. So <laughs> that was pretty much it. And I sent you a message. And then luckily <laughs> you guys were down to come get obliterated. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think I've said it enough for the all of us. Max is like, I've left the house the first time <laughs> in six months. How do I make up for this lost time? A bottle of tequila. I think I do that every time. Because yeah, I don't <laughs> typically, I like to stay at home mostly. Well, tonight we're fun. going out, so yeah. might as well get a little. Okay, soon. okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> I was fucking disgusting. Oh, here, chase it with this. It's game of slop. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Do we not have any tolerable liquor in this office? Oh. Uh, I think it was either gin, tequila, or vodka, right? Are you okay? Everything is saying no in my stomach. You see, you see the clothing I'm wearing? Everything is saying yes. Stop right there! I know what you're thinking. Why does everyone on this podcast look so good? It's because we're all decked out in cool shirts. That's right. Literally everything we're wearing is designed by our long-term sponsor, Cool Shirts, who is not only crazy enough to attach their name to our show, but also make the coolest clothes in the world. Look at Dan, looking elegant and refined in his corporate turtleneck. That shows you have class, but you're also ready to party. Or Baby No Money himself in the amazing Dead Cool Jacket that gives you such immense sexual power, it's illegal in 17 countries. Or maybe you're scoping out Chad. His outer button-up shirt may not be released yet, but the one beneath that certainly is. But let's be real, you're looking at me in my sophisticated peekaboo tee. A nice basic shirt with a hidden surprise for anyone who wants to see further. God damn, I look gook! So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the bio to grab any of these items and use code COLDONES to not only save 10% on your order, but to also make sure Cool Shirts pays us so we can keep the neon lights on. That's code COLDONES at www.shirtswithaz.cool! Okay, I think that's everything. Please return to your scheduled viewing. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You just like take a screenshot of me and just like float around it. The you whole can ask the editor to do that. You can ask, ask the editor to do anything. Wait, yeah. tell him to put anything you want. Be like, yo, put a, an image of Put this. a bunch of women behind me, please. Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Give him some complicated edits. Chinese subtitles. Chinese yeah. subtitles. Oh, in the next two minutes, Chinese subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate, though. Accurate Chinese <laughs> subtitles. Nah, just put nonsense. Just put anything <laughs> on screen. Just like every different language and every different. Alphabet or fucking letter. It's like how <laughs> I'm fucking drunk. I don't even know what I'm saying. Why do you call yourself baby no money? I actually know the answer to this. I watched that gay. What was that fucking sh like they where you explain you your genius? Genius. That interview sucked. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, that was lit. <laughs> Thanks. That was lit. Fuck this it. one is so much better. Fuck yeah, you know. definitely. Yeah. But uh, my name is Baby No Money because I'm really cheap. That's really it. I'm like, at bottom of the heart, like, I like, all, I grew up spending no money. He he knows firsthand, like, how cheap I was. You know, the Jewish is he so cheap? used to lend him so much now? money. I got does in trouble for money? lending him money. Does he spend money on you now? He, uh, he didn't lend me well, money. Well, recently, yeah. He's kind of like changed up, honestly. It's kind of scary. Okay, no, he hasn't changed because I talked about booking business flights and he was like, well, nah, con me all, all right, the way, that's bro. That's too much different, of an expense. Different, it, yeah. it, it's like, okay, if that's you're taking scam, an hour bro, to an hour, two hour flight, bro, I'm gonna I'm I'm just play Diablo off my computer that's gonna die in two hours and I'm not gonna- You only play. wanna go business if you need to lay down. If you're gonna, if you are gonna play anything on Chad's your phone, like, or watch anything, I'm fat, man. You're sitting in a business. Seat. I understand, Chad. Yeah, because the weight. It's a different story, bro. You need like that extra accommodation. Like he'll pay for my dinner now. Two years ago, no fucking way. Wow. I was paying for his dinner. Wow, you got him dinner. Yeah, that's so sweet. A couple of times. Platinum, <laughs> platinum song. I'll buy you dinner, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Next platinum song. I'll buy you another dinner. What was oh, yeah. it? Expensive dinner on McDonald's. Um, it was like 
I brought him Hungry Jacks this morning. <laughs> he bought me Hungry Jacks. Tell us where you went after China before, before we oh, get we the haven't Corona. Done the China yet. We haven't done China yet, have we? Not really. How'd you blow up in China? Long story short, there's this group called TF Boys. They're like the Kardashians of China. And the youngest of the TF Boys. Uh, How young are we talking? He did a choreographed dance. Yeah, he did a choreographed dance. Yeah, to one of my songs that was televised across like all of China for his birthday. And I immediately went viral. It was like some like super random fuckery luck. What like, was the song? That's so It's rad, called Yo Yo Tokyo. Happen. And I only had it released in America for about, or like North America, like SoundCloud, because I wasn't using Spotify and Spotify wasn't really popular yeah. at the time. And it was only out for like two and a half weeks. Yeah. And yeah, I, I took it out. I took it down because. Fuck it. And it was like the biggest song in China for me for a very long time. Is, like, that what, is that what started people like booking tours for you in China as well? Yeah, it was that song. I you heard know? you say you, you were selling out there before you could sell out anywhere else. Like you could Bro, go I was to selling China. out I was selling out there. I was selling at eight hundred caps with like three thousand followers on Instagram. Wow. Oh damn. Yeah. Like it was if even that's such a strange up. like bubble to occur. I think it was like the most inspirational part of my career because right before then I was like, I need to take my life seriously. If I'm going to school, you know, I'm going to get an education. I got to like actually get decent grades. And then after that, I was like, all right, fuck school. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to finish school and, you know, get the grades to to finish. I'm going to try hard on both, both fields, but. And then gravy, gravy blew up and I was like, all right. Didn't you meet him in a class or something? No, no, no. I met him. Well, I sent him a message while I was in astrophysics 101. <laughs> and I sent him a message and I was like, hey, Is that a real thing? <laughs> astrophysics 101? Is it's that- legit, legit, legit. <laughs> okay. I was sitting in class not paying attention. And that was like the class that I was like kind of worried about because I would just like not, I didn't know anything in that class. I didn't study at all because my friend was like, Yo, yeah, super fucking easy class. Take it, bird class. I was like, yeah, that sounds I, really I easy, bro. And then I got, I got <laughs> fucked. I got like, I got fucked in that class because I just like wasn't paying attention. I was just like, because you're too shit. busy damning young grade. Yeah, exactly. And um, long story short, sent him a message and I was like, Dude, your music is dumb. And I is was that like, a good thing or no, no, no. I don't speak retard, legit, legit. Thing. It was a good thing. Good? I was like, bro, okay. your music is so dumb, and so funny. Like, we gotta work. Yeah. And then I added him on Facebook and we just kind of became friends. What was his size difference back then? Like, was he oh, a small artist? He was, he well? was less, less popular than I was. Okay. And then he blew up. He blew up. I just like felt, I remember when I first heard his music, I was like, damn, I feel like this guy's going to blow up. And I told him, how do you I run, remember. How do you run yeah. into that sort of music? Like that, just like SoundCloud or? Well, when I was, when I was like first growing on SoundCloud, I was like deep into SoundCloud. So anyone who know was starting to make music i knew yeah right just like anybody at all and i found you know i found gravy's music and i was like damn like yeah this music is so different that that's all that really matters in music in the end of the day is like as long as you're different like you'll pop off and i remember telling him i was like bro like i feel like his music is gonna really blow up and he was I, I, we were at Fraser and 40 first yeah. and I was like, bro, this music going to blow up. And you were like, nah, I don't know, man. I was like, this is really you were weird. doubting. Like it yeah, sounds, he, he it was sounds definitely like doubting. really out there. He was definitely doubting. I was like, this is either going to blow the fuck up or like never get heard. This is too niche and weird. Yeah. This is like, his voice is beautiful though. Yeah. Yeah. Gravy, Gravy's voice. voice is some bullshit, Loki. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, fuck you, Matt. You have a nice ass voice. That's fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's fuck Matt. I, I, only know, <laughs> I only know of Young Gravy because of other YouTubers, weirdly enough, because he does a lot of stuff with Chad Lee's and Trevor, and Chad Lee's yeah. been on the podcast before. Like, Trevor was on our uh, Shining on the X video. He was like the video. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was the videographer yeah, for the man. music video. I saw that yeah. too. Yeah. Really, really good guy. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of weird how the crossover worked, especially with like new, wi- like new wave, like rappers and stuff like that. They all get involved with YouTubers like you guys are now. And well, that, I, that ties back into like meme culture and. Yeah. Just well, you're, he's on stage. This yeah. sort of he's on stage today doing Bobby now. Girl and like MLG Foghorns. The, and the shit thing like that. is, is like, bro, honestly, like, if you're gonna perform, just have fun. Mm. I've I've seen so many shows that like so many acts take themselves way too seriously, whether they be rap or whether they be any like other genre. It's just yeah. like 
it's just not fun for the for the person in the audience. And I think it's contagious as well when you are having fun. Yeah, like for exactly, the audience, people exactly. are like, yeah. And that's yeah. one thing that Gravy and I definitely have like kind of preached with our with our live shows. It's like who give a fuck. Yeah. Like Gravy and I have given out so many rotisserie chickens. Like <laughs> live. Like I remember there was one uh, there was one time I I don't know specifically where it was, but we gave it a chicken, and the, like. I threw a drumstick at a girl and it, <laughs> it ended in her mouth somehow. It was just in what? her mouth the whole night. And there was like no, she was no just like meat on it. On the bone. And she was like eating the <laughs> bone the whole night. I was like, dude, this is fucked up, dude. You said this earlier to me, but Max hasn't heard it. How would you explain your sets in comparison to other people's sets? What did I say earlier? Mine's like stand up comedy. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like fun. Yeah. That's, I, I don't really know how else to say it. It's like, if you know, I've been in I've been in several situations. Where I've been in crowds, and I'm like, there's something missing. Like, and it's like the fun factor. Like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna hear this song. I'm gonna hear this song. I'm gonna hear this next song. It's great. Like, I wanted to hear these songs, but I also wanted to be a part of the show. And I've always thought deep down inside that like, if you make people at your show a part of your show, then they're gonna be way more interested in being at your show and yeah. they're gonna tell your they're gonna tell their friends be like yo honestly like you know baby no money show was crazy or young gravy show was crazy it was mm -hmm. like you know when i said pp he said poo poo it was crazy wow and i've always just like thought that that's that's my main goal is to just like allow you know the kids or the or the youth or the people who come to my shows to have a lot of fun and i think that's it that's the difference between having like this disconnect where if you have someone on stage who's idolized and they're performing as like this god figure essentially and they're just doing their thing and then going yeah like bringing yourself not bringing yourself down to their level but bringing having, themselves, fu having yeah. fun with the crowd it's it's like you're only human as well there was definitely a, like a different interaction as yeah. well in comparison because i saw three sets and told tonight yours uh the chats and i can't remember there's someone performed before you went on I saw them as well, but out of the three, it was my first festival, so I, I can't really compare, but out of all of them, you were the one that first you went festival? down. It was a festival, yeah. You've never been to a festival, bro? No, I'm gay. <laughs> but you were the only person that you, you give out the cookbooks and- Cookbooks? You, Explain you give, I, guess, cookbooks. I guess you were wasted, so. All right, so. You did so this at the other one as well? I do it every show. every single time. Rotisserie so, uh, chickens and cookbooks. Well, rotisserie, rotisserie was just the name of the song. I made this song with gravy, and then he was like, yo, let me jump on it. And then he just named it rotisserie, and we released it. But long story short, I, I just graduated university, and I'm going on tour with gravy. I do a couple shows, and I'm like, there's something missing. You know, something is missing. I'm with my manager at the time. And Antonio and I, we go to a book store, North Carolina, shitty ass town, and nothing to do except for go to like a, like a thrift store. Mm. And we're looking at like 25 cent books. He's like, dude, let's just give out cookbooks. That's fine. I'm like, that's, that's hilarious. Funny. Honestly, fuck it. And then I got back to the, to the, to the venue and I just like signed it, threw a bunch of penises in it and just fuck it. And <coughs> gave out the cookbook, and it just went so much harder than I expected. <laughs> like, you know, so people probably have signed cookbooks, just like framed, just some shitty twenty-five cent craziness. Cookbook. Yeah, well, the, one, exactly. the one you gave out today, I remember you're like, sign this, and I wrote a, a glazed ham recipe in the back. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I, I was looking at the book, and I said, I said to Dan, I'm like, what the fuck did you get this thing from? Because that like. I like mold in it, like it was like a hundred years old. It was musty. Yeah, fuck? yeah, it definitely does as fuck. But it's like, I don't know, like random shit like that is what makes the show. You should Sometimes, do that every show. You should do something different. You I mean, buy the a thing, bunch of twenty the, cent the items. The thing from is, a the thing store. is, is I will. I think from today or that moment on, after I saw like the effect of the cookbook, I think genuinely <laughs> the cookbook effect. The cookbook effect. I think genuinely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing the cookbook until I die. Or until at least I like stop uh -huh. performing. It's, it's funny. Funny. It's like so random, and it doesn't make any sense. It's like it's a good bonus. It's like a, yeah, it's a bonus to the set, and it's like <laughs> it's also not like pe people come to the show and they're like, "I'm gonna just get fucked, and hopefully I get the cookbook." That, Who was that, the guy grabbing? <laughs> was the guy grabbing his cock on stage today for the cookbook? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who'd you give it to today? Uh, I give it to the guy that actually came up and like hit some of the lyrics. Yeah, most he was of the, grabbing his cock. Yeah, most of the people that. Most of the people that I bring up on way. stage to do Gravy's lyrics, like when Gravy's not there, I, I, Gravy does the exact same thing with me. And uh, 
most of the people don't hit any of them. Mm. For me, I feel way worse for the people that have I'll, to do my parts because my parts are usually like no breaths and like just mumbling everything and no idea what fucking I'm saying anyway. And, uh, but like the guy today did decent for gravy. So I was like, you know, fucking. I think it's because he was sober as well. It was just like, he was sober. He was sober, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Because when we offered him a beer, it's like, sober. I'm like, okay, that's why he's doing such a good job <laughs> singing. He did great. Which brings me to the next question. Can you sign my cookbook? Oh, that's awesome. It's a nice <laughs> one. Walk good up shit. cookbook, bro. Both of you, I want you both to sign. It'll be a relic. Leeway is kind of in the next question. What kind Leeway? Of Leeway. Segway? Segway. Segway. Leroy Jenkins. Well, Maybe. that's also a wonderful Yes, I wanted to have Chad ask you some World of Warcraft lore questions and see how, how well deep you do. Both, they, uh, both, I, they both play well. Ooh. In fact, when Dan came to my house the other night, he was like, because you saw all my World of Warcraft novels. Oh, yeah. And you're like, you still play? And I was like, okay, my boys play well. They you don't right, play right. still, do you, Chad? I still I'm play a, a little bit. I'm going to be totally <laughs> honest. The lore, <laughs> I'm not a fan with. All right, he'll ask you but stats questions. Stats question, hit me. Items questions. Well, we already had sort of a small joke uh, talk in the Uber. What do you guys call it? The fucking arena? For the uh, stats? DR. Diminishing DR, diminishing returns. Yeah, we never called it that. That's another thing. All right, when did you, f what was your first World of Warcraft raid? What do you remember? It was your first raid? <laughs> raid, not dungeon, raid. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I didn't even raid much. I I, I just straight, <laughs> oh, I suck. straight He's PvP. A I'm a PvP. -er. You're a casual, bro. No, 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 no. You have the, oh, it's here, it's here. No, 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 honestly. No, 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 definitely not. I remember, okay, so I had a level 70 uh, Retribution Paladin on Spinebreaker. And Spinebreaker, is yeah. that even a server? Yeah, it was, it was pretty shit, not gonna lie. But I remember specifically going around and ganking so many horde. As a paladin. Dude, you know the vibes. Pull up with I the don't know. I don't know. I, you guys are speaking gobbledygook, bro. Gobbledygook my ass, bro. Yo, I, as a, what I do hit. you mean as a paladin? What's so bad Wait. about <laughs> paladins? Are not, they're not good. Retribution, oh, okay. Retribution paladins, god mode. Yeah, in arena, but not like fucking. Well, not so. I've never imagined having fun running around as a paladin like, yeah, oh yeah, take this. Remember, justice retard. <laughs> no, bro, baby. if you gank it, if you run around Hodge ganking me, people, baby, you want to be more a hunter, time. <laughs> a warrior, a rogue, anything else. Paladin, it's like running around Yo, as a rogue priest. Boys. That sucks. When did you stop? When was the earliest you both started playing? Did you guys play together? You started you earlier than I did. Modern Warfare? I'm trying to think. Okay, so I got addicted to Diablo 2 when I was five. Diablo 2 was out when you were five? Yeah, 2000. My my uncle my uncle got me into it when we had a renovation when we had a renovation in our house, and then I remember I was like a level 32 barbarian when I was five, and my brother and sister couldn't even get to level 20. Big fucking rookies, and they're both five years like four to five years older than me. And then I remember begging my mom at Costco, and I was like, Mom, please get me the whole battle pack, please. I want Lord of Destruction so bad. And it was like an open box, like the box was ripped. It was 19.99 at Costco. And I got Diablo 2 and I played the fuck out of that game. They come with the double-sided poster, the yeah. manual. And then the manual. The two and CDs. I, dude, I used, to, I used to take shits and read the manual and write down exactly like yeah. the stats and like the skill trees I was gonna go with. There was no internet back then. You couldn't just Google this shit. Like <laughs> you'd have That's to read it. Saying. Yeah. Well, and then it? my mom used to disable the internet when yeah. I was online. I'd be like, <laughs> Mom, please, please, mom, please, please. You'd, was, you'd, you'd rough, like dude. we we I'm had we had shitty shit. satellite internet, <laughs> and we had like a fucking two gigabyte data limit. And after that, it was capped. So mom was the same thing. She's like, she she'd switch it off. So if I was Tell playing Diablo it. or Warcraft three, like I couldn't Google shit. The only thing I had was manuals. Like you go to, there was like twenty dollar like guidebooks that you buy. Or schoolyard talk. Oh, yeah. yeah, people just make shit. Yeah, yeah. After fucking yeah definitely time. just schoolyard sure. talk. What, then, what what sorry quickly? What was the years between Diablo one and Diablo two? Oh, 10. It's like 98 D, to D, 2000. D1 was 95, was like 95, 96, right? Scott is Googling it. It's like, it was a long I know, time. I know, D, I know D2 was like 2000. Yeah, I never played Diablo 1. I played Diablo 2. I played 2. D1. D2? I didn't play. D2 is arguably one of the better games ever made. Diablo 1 was 1997 and then number 2 came in 2000. Yeah. yeah, well, I never played one, so I, th I th for some reason I thought one came out a long time ago. Yeah. Bro, this guy invented his own Diablo 2 scam. Ah, it was called I'm Free for you. Trust. Okay, Free so for Trust. He, he made like the shit up. Scam. My my friend Nick, was, my friend Nick and I, we were like, <laughs> we we have. To, Sorry, we, I love it. 
You're supposed to be talking about his music. We're talking about Diablo, <laughs> RuneScape, and fucking World of Warcraft. <laughs> fuck him. Go, go on. Yeah, fuck yeah, music, yeah, carry this on. This is my life. This is why I became a rapper, honestly. <laughs> Just All right, talking so, about Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> so, long story short, what it was, was... All right, I start a game. Game starts. People come in, big ass peons pull up, and they're like, Ooh, "What do you mean free for trust?" And they come in, and I have this automated message, and I'm like 13, so there's spelling errors all over the fuck. So they're like, "Holy shit, maybe <laughs> want this to guy." Sell. Instead maybe- of saying "want to sell," it's WTS. <laughs> yeah, WTS. So they're like, "Holy shit, this guy ain't fucking around. He's he he's got spelling errors. He doesn't give a fuck." And I'm like, "Yeah, obviously I don't give a fuck." So I'm like, "All right, you give me an item. Give me some GG item." And I'll give you a GFG, good fucking godly. And I'll give you, if you give me good godly, I'll give you good fucking godly. GFG. So they would give me like a Shaco or Enigma. And a what, ma? It's, it's called. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A, an Enigma is is like a, oh, what is it? It's a bur ith tal rune word on a chest. Three sockets, and it gives you two to teleport. Speak English, bro. Bro, this is Diablo 2 is <laughs> my favorite game. Have a nah, Diablo 2, it's awesome. I it, love it. It's, it's, my, it's, it's like awesome. my favorite game ever. And it gives you two to teleport. So, like, any any single character in Diablo 2 could essentially teleport. So, like, it, even if you were, like, a, a necromancer, like, summoning skeleton type of necromancer, you could have, like, 90, 90 offspring or whatever you want to call it or, like, mm-hmm. summons. And you could teleport on someone. They would all hit at the exact same time because it refreshes the cooldown of uh, like their hit when right. you teleport. So you jump on someone, you immediately kill someone. It's super fire. But uh, long story short, I would be like, yo, if you give me that Shaco, I will like give you back, you know, like a Hodo or like or like a cha- uh, Chains of Fortitude. It's the shittiest game of all time. And and they'd be like, no way. So like, okay, let's Wait, let's. let's yeah, I I never played Diablo two online, but you can't trade an item at each time. Oh, you I, can. No, 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 that's how you do it. So what? Who's what retired I, enough to fall for trust this? Me. So Everyone. what? What I would do is I would like on my own time. I would like go find a bunch of items that are shit. I think I was thinking, what's his motive here? Maybe he will do that. Trust me, it works. So essentially, what happens is like I'm like, yo, give me, give me that, and they're like, okay, so they give me this. And I'm like, I don't really have anything that shitty, so I'll give you back, like, whatever this piece is. So they take it. And they're like, okay. And then they come back. They come back with the yellow piece and the blue piece. And I'm like, you know, this is better. I'll give you the GG container. And they're like, all right, not bad. And then they pull up with the whole fucking, the whole set. And I'm like, all right. I just take it and leave. And it just works. So it works scam. every fucking time. Scam of all time. But what happened? It worked well, okay. every That's fucking time. That's a similar thing in RuneScape where uh, people would do the, double, the doubling or whatever. And they keep doubling. You and double then until they give you enough, amount, enough, yeah. enough amount of money and then you take it. Yeah. And you switch fucking but, server. But it's surprising yeah. because it like genuinely worked every time. And then there was like a point when Nick and I were like scamming so hard that both our names in the in the channels of like where you would make games were like, yo, fucking screw Hulk 101 or screw Hulk, Hulk 101. I was Hulk 101 and my oh. friend was tie-dye dude. And we tied, were like- Tie-dye dude. <laughs> yeah, tie-dye dude. <laughs> no, trust these people, man. <laughs> Never They're trust scamming, Hulk 101 bro. or tie-dye dude. But long story short, it was like so funny that these people were that fucking dumb. Holy shit. I it can't was great, say as though. a kid I ever fell for a retard scam. <laughs> I, in RuneScape, I did that one where they say, hey, your passwords start out if you say it. And you type it, it'll automatically oh, yeah. start out. Yeah, that'll yeah, yeah. I fell for that. that. I lost, uh, I think, Dog Slayer 2 was my account name. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are fucking stupid. What was your names in your games, Chad? <laughs> Igorera. Say again? Igorera. Igorera. That sounds kind of cool. There's no numbers on that. It was Igorera. I had Mac Man 62 and then Dark Lord 45. You still have Dark Lord. You still have Dark Lord. I still have Dark Lord, yeah. Because when RuneScape, we had this like Wheel of Fortune thing that came out. You were fucking spinning that all day. Gambling. You guys ever play like League of Legends or anything? Oh, I still play League. Yeah. League every right, now uh, My name on League of Legends was Tozer Killer. Mine was you know. Cunt Slammer. <laughs> Cunt, Cunt Slammer. For the K. You're going straight to prison, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think eventually yeah. they just, ba- if people report your name, you can just be banned. Report Cunt Slayer. So, with so a K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chad will get you banned. Tell him, Chad. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think I will. Then World of Warcraft. How do we segue so hard out of World of Warcraft? I didn't want to talk about WoW. Blizzard anymore. Games. Good games. Yeah, true, true. 
translate this to English, Prezo. If you can do it, I'll be really what? impressed. The ole lo mocho hai la pokai la. Bro, come on, man. You worked with Chinese artists, didn't you? I learned Mandarin I for that, a little while. I saw that documentary you did with, what's his name? Jello? Jello Rio? Jello Rio, yeah. Yeah. He's like super big in China now. Really? Like he I, seemed really like nervous in that in that thing, like recording and stuff like that. I kind of felt. Bad. Okay, you've obviously done your research while you were looking up vids and getting no the no no. We were drinking. Hey, you're, you're doing field research, <laughs> right? I'm doing <laughs> academics. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, continue the question. It wasn't a question. I was just I was just saying you're disrespecting him, bro. He's got Chinese friends, bro. Yeah. I have eight. Okay. <laughs> I have coronavirus. Do you know what he's saying on the, that song or those songs that you've done with him? Because um, I know when you're recording. He, and that no, Jello, from what I remember, he was just like, last year, you know, everyone doubted me. This year, it's 2018 or some shit. And like, let's get it. I'm doing it. Yeah, but what's he saying on those songs that you've recorded with him? Do you even know? No, no, no. no. Like, he's just saying like typical rapper shit. Like, but you, you've been, tra it's been translated to you? Like once he just said the once. like you know the studio he was like people were doubting him and shit and then he came up oh those are the actual lyrics yeah yeah, yeah. oh okay uh, gotcha. that's that's like oh you just thought it was some sort of basic translation that's genuinely it he was like from what I remember it's it's very old but it was just like yeah people were doubting me I did it myself or something just like very typical yeah rap shit I think another thing in that documentary was him he was saying that it's like. It's kind of hard to break out of that mold in China because your parents, it's it's harder than, than it is in the West because you're put in more of a box to be like, you should do this. You should do this kind of job. Like you should go do this. You should graduate. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So it's like, it's an interesting scene, like the rap scene in China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That question was too on the like level of like making sense that I couldn't really, I'm fucked. I'm really drunk. Anyway. <laughs> Chad's gonna read a piece of paper now. Scott, give Chad paper and I uh, read. <laughs> I have a screenshot of some tweets. Uh -oh. Of mine. Yeah, these are your And you'll tweets. need to explain them. Uh -oh. Y'all ready? <laughs> you said a lot of racist stuff. No, I haven't. We've uh, trolled. I mean, oh, we got the facts, bro. I'm sorry. I have a tweet from you and you are quote retweeting. Did you know you quote retweeting? No, 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 wait, don't tell him yet. You were quote retweeting something and it this says- This is old because I don't quote retweet uh, anymore. It says, ha ha, Tony- 2018. It says, Tony thought. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you remember- uh, Suckles? <laughs> Plus. <laughs> you quote retweeted a photo. Do you know what photo I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know the photo. It's like Cover the girl's it. ass and he's, he's, uh, he's in that uh, shit like that. Yeah, Who, whose tweet was this that you quote retweeted? <laughs> I swear it was Suckles. Some Australian. <laughs> Random Australia. Is it you fuckers, bro? I can't remember specifically. I just remember, I remember John cry out, hitting me up and be like, yo, check this tweet or something. <laughs> oh. It's from Max. Yeah, that's mine. Ah, it is. Ah. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that, bro. This was our earliest interaction before you probably didn't know who the fuck that was. I just remember this happening. I'm like, yo, this is, this is kind of funny. Yeah, this is some garbage that you find online and post <laughs> to boost your socials. You know how it is. It's good shit. <laughs> kind of makes me horny. All right, Chad, this is the real guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chad's horny. June 7th, 2018. You tweeted, just made a song completely about my relationship with World of Warcraft. Hey, I haven't heard this song. Did, Did you that have... come out? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Who, who wanted to buy so it? So Method, you know Method Gaming? Oh, I know Method. I'm boys with Sko. Bro, oh, there you go. Get yeah. this. So I know this dude from Rom Romania that has gotten me a Snoop Dogg feature, and I have the Snoop Dogg song just like sitting. What? Yeah. It's like, but I don't think Snoop Dogg knows about it. But long story short, long story short, this Andre guy, he hits me up. He's like, "Hey, do you have a song for Method Gaming?" And I'm like, "Like you mean the World of Warcraft, like mm. guild gamers?" And then he was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "All right, word." Uh, I, I do. I have a song completely about my relationship with World of Warcraft. And, like, it's, like, a really sad song. I, I don't know if it'll ever come out, but they were like, can we buy it and release it? And I was like, yeah. Maybe they thought it was something like... Um, That's interesting. There was a, there was, at, at, how long, what year was this? Sorry. 
2018. This was, this was like two years ago. That's Long story short, it's kind of like a, it, it's genuinely like a sad love song type of shit because yeah. it's just like everyone who's played WoW Give us sample, has been bro. like super. Give us a sample. I don't really remember it, but it's like, uh, do you remember that? It's not on the file. Play it right now. Chinese subtitles. Yeah. <laughs> with Chinese, <laughs> like Chinese subtitles. Play it with the Chinese dub. The, the hook. The hook goes <laughs> you get like. Get someone on five to dub it. I honestly have no. I don't remember it all. No idea. But it's like it's like sad. It's like genuine. Like a like it's, it's kind a of sad. What's the, what's the the core like? Point what's of message? It? It's like I've been addicted to you my whole life. Type of shit. And it like, sounds like a woman. Yeah, no, it's like if you, you could you could easily put it to a woman, but it's like, but then I do like I, I say like line like a slash played, slash played my mom my mama think I'm way too addicted, and then it's like something else I I don't right, really remember too many. Like, what's your slash played? My slash played was like plus a year. My in, Ooh, within really? my within my six years Nick, of Nick Nick and I we both had together like three years. I bought I bought it a lot. Yeah. I bought it a lot, but it was like yeah. Even if like in, in my six years of World of Warcraft, I did a slash play. It was two and a half years. Oh, so out of six two and years, half years, years, out of six, six years of Jesus it was two and a half of it was spent. We botting? Never. Yes, no. Okay, no botting. So for six years, which is literally like almost twelve hours a day every year for like three years, almost. I was playing WoW. You know you're hitting those 24 hour days like easily. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember for two years, I remember I left school and I was like, I, I had a job for a little bit and I didn't have a job and I was on Centrelink. And this is when I knew you, like just started talking to you. Yeah. All I was doing every day, even if I wasn't playing, I was just like logged in, like just sitting there. And I just look every now and then for like, for two years straight, <laughs> like I was slash just, two be like, yo, shit. trying to sell this slash two, trying to sell this mm. slash two. Every like fifteen yeah. minutes, and then you go check your t like your whispers, and then be like, yo, what do you think about like fifteen cod? Yeah, and then you hit him with the fifteen. Cod. Same like, like you'd make pugs. Like I'd have a guild at times. So so I was sitting there like fucking eight hours a day trying to make a pug group for like a raid. Oh, yeah. You know, that game ruined <laughs> my life, but also made it lit. All right, enough World of Warcraft. No, it's next good. tweet. May 20, 2017. Oh, wow. Ooh. If I ever get rich and famous, do you remember what this is? I'm going to start a nonprofit organization for people or children. Yeah. For fi financial. Less, for less fortunate kids. Yeah. <laughs> Why I, would you bring that up? I've, I've actually genuinely been really, really, really considering, like, once I get back to Vancouver, like, I want to figure out how to do this. But That's I. That's sweet. That's like, very sweet. So in, in Vancouver, we have a really, really, really bad drug problem. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And in the downtown east side where I have my apartment, it's probably the highest per capita usage of heroin and meth in the world. North America. At really? Least. Yeah. In Canada? Dude, honestly, yeah. probably the world. I don't think the world, but you don't America think so? for sure. I don't know. It's it's fucked. Like you go outside and you, like everyone's shooting out. It's like wow. really bad. Yeah. And I, I went to school and I studied kinesiology is because I wanted to give back to people and I wanted to help people. You know, eventually, genuinely, I'm I'm gonna be like f fucking fed up with touring and I'm gonna want to put money into you know an organization that helps people in Vancouver. And yeah, we have I I know we have like a really good support system in Vancouver, but at the same time, like the the city is buying like a chandelier under a bridge that's worth like three to four million dollars where we could have put three to four million dollars into public service. like public service and public housing for the homelessness in Vancouver. It's kind of that bad. And it, 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 it's not, it's not bad, like, but the thing is, is like what? the amount of money that's in <laughs> Vancouver is fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Here's and then, the, yeah. I mean, Dan, Dan can like probably hit the real fact fact. Here's the thing. Like Canada is not that bad. It's just that everyone kind of gets shipped over to Vancouver just because it's like the most mild climate. Yeah. So it's like easier so to it's survive. Not, over it's not like winter. minus 50. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone kind of gets like a Greyhound ticket over there. if They're kind of like a junkie. So you guys have a lot of like homeless people there. Exactly. And like you, a lot of like government service to be like. It's like you essentially. Can't be it's like you can't be LA, homeless. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be homeless in this city. You have to go to this city because if you're homeless in this city, you'll die kind of thing. Yeah. So that's why they, okay. More or less. It's essentially like the warmest place in Vancouver. In yeah. Canada, yeah. Year round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's still cold as fuck. Mm. Like, but I just like, I don't know. I've always had it deep down inside of me. Like, I just want to start something like that. 
And it's like, yeah, starting a nonprofit organization is kind of difficult, but like grouping up with one would be yeah. way easier. But I just like, so well, you're on the grind at the moment. Yeah, I'm on you're the grind. Your shit. I want to, I want to like, make enough money to like, sit down and be like, all right, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do it right. I yeah. don't want to, I don't want to start something that's not right. You know? Yeah. Like, do you guys feel like it's like now that I have the, a- you guys both have the avenue of like getting people to support that and getting the word out. You start doing it now, and then when you're done rapping, whenever that is, that's when you're like. I'm done rapping now. I used every like what parts of my resources to start this organization. Is that something you'd move on to? I don't think I'm gonna be a rapper forever. Yeah. I mean, I just don't have it in me. Like, what's yeah. your other passions? You just talk, we're like talking about it now. World of Warcraft. Besides World of Warcraft, Warcraft. Besides World of Warcraft. Besides World of Warcraft <laughs> and giving to the homeless kids. Thing is, is like if I make enough money that like I don't know what to do with, like, what the fuck is the point of having if I'm not gonna give it back to people? This is another, really? this is another thing. Fair. Like, like, like genuinely, oh, yeah. like I'm a cheap person for sure. But like at the same time, like it's like you kind of reach a point. Like, where yeah, if I reach like, a I'm point, I'm just accumulating. If, yeah, if, I, like, if I, I reach a point purpose. where I like I can't spend the money that I'm earning, type of shit. Like we, yeah. like we said earlier, where it was like money has a happiness. Like money does buy happiness, but like there's that there's threshold. A, there there's is that a threshold. threshold. Yeah, that's and like then, there's there is a scientific threshold. Like yeah. they've done studies on where. People obviously money does solve problems for people who don't have money, mm. but people who are, you know, like an average person, there is it reaches like a roof mm. where it's like people aren't necessarily getting any more happier once they have the necessities, yeah. despite what they think they are. Mm. Like they have these ambitions and these goals, but it's like it's a fruitless chase. Like if you, yeah, if you're doing your thing and you figure out you need to find a purpose. Like and that's pro- that's a great purpose to put your resources into. Obviously, I mean, I could buy jewelry, I could buy a bunch of apartments, so I could buy this, I could buy that. But I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna die. I could die tomorrow. I could walk outside and fall over and break my neck. Where's my oh, money? Oh, you could right, just die the, on this podcast. Call, 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 <laughs> call off the hitman. Call off the hitman. Yeah, I want to make sure I I go out like, not necessarily being respected, but I want to go out like. Doing something you like thing as well. All right, yeah. thing. Okay. Legacy, bro. Yeah, that's 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 really it. Like, I feel <laughs> like you know it's crazy. Like, some girl came up to me yesterday in Adelaide and was like, "Yo, my mom is terminally ill, and your music has made such a difference in my life." And I was like, "That's the thing, though." And I was like, trying to take photos. I was trying to take music. photos with a bunch of people. Yeah. And she started crying, and I was like, "Ah, oh, this is so hard to give a you know a person a lot of time right now." Yeah. Because everyone else is like, yo, let me take a photo. And they're all like rolling off Molly. And I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just like, like this is like a lot. Pouring a hot you know, it's a lot. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, you know, like genuinely I wanted to be like, yo, like I, I, I gave her a hug. I was like, I really appreciate that. Like, thank you so much. Well, there'd like, be so many like, people like that, that yeah. you'd be mm-hmm. doing that same thing for. It's like, you don't see that sort of thing as entertainers in general. Like we would have a similar thing. Because we also get a lot of emails from people that are exact same sort of thing. Yeah. And it's like, you don't realize how many people you're helping just through entertainment. Mm. And it's not really looked at as anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's crazy. It's yeah. genuinely insane. Like, I have respect to that. All right, on a lighter note, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Where's this going, bro? <laughs> 2017, February 16th. Yo, I don't know if anybody needs mixing to their tracks, but hit me with one. I'll do it for $20 Canadian. We, was that real? No one ever hit me after that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that offer still stand? If you want me to mix your tracks, I'll do it. Well, I got really good at it. But well, you 20. tweeted two days later. Baby, no money. Need some money. <laughs> <laughs> Holy so shit. You clearly right. were, you were struggling. You did need that 20. I have a story about this, actually. Okay. Uh, Before the baby no money shit, we, uh, we ran a little YouTube channel. We never actually posted anything. Oh, shit. But it was called, uh, What Will He Do For $5? Okay. This guy <laughs> was a fiend for cash. <laughs> He's always been starving for it. <coughs> and uh, Ooh, uh, we were gonna start a little YouTube channel. Swap me chairs. Yours is too creaky, and you moved. Too it's creaky. <laughs> Swap me. Swap me. Okay. Go, keep going. Keep yeah, going. yeah. It's called "What Will He Do for Five Dollars?" We filmed uh, maybe four or five episodes. Oh, chairs, not spots. Uh, the yeah. first episode, he took a a handful of uh black peppers, put it, it in like his mouth, in the early days. and like ground it with his teeth, and like swallowed it's it. It's like some gritty YouTuber. Oh shit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some raunchy. This shit. is like back in the day. 
Uh, next episode, what'd you do? You drank your own piss? Yeah. What? Oh yeah. my God. Drank his That's own going piss up to bucks? Joey Salads, bro. <gasps> oh yeah. That's straight to a hundred. Third <laughs> From episode. Pepe to piss? Third episode, he dyed his hair blonde for five bucks. It was more like, like orange because I didn't hit enough yeah. blonde. For five bucks? Bucks? Long enough. Sorry, wait, where's the money coming from? Him. You're just yeah. giving him five bucks. <laughs> five bucks each yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah. It's five bucks. Yeah, exactly. Dye your hair every time. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what did we go to the beach? Oh, no, we went to McDonald's, and then I jumped across. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, like, book ganged it. Like, before yeah, book gang was a Before boom gang was a thing. Yeah. I jumped across, like, the, you know, where you pay at McDonald's. Yeah. And I just like ate a bunch of French fries, and I, like, tried to take someone's order. He, like, ran order. up to the fries. You could have had a different career route. Oh, yeah. could have popped off on YouTube. No, Jack could have like, been we Jack doing this <laughs> I'm doing now, yeah. And then there was one where it was, like, skinny dip at the local pool or some shit, or what was it? These are very extreme for... No payoff. No, yeah. you, were, you were definitely there, dude. Awesome. You know, you know what I built? I we, built, sorry, we, I built a tolerance to not give a fuck. It's true. That's good. Look but at me now. Were you genuinely like, I want that five dollars? Oh yeah, genuinely, like, you wanted the five dollars. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. absolutely. I don't give a fuck. Like the the name comes from somewhere. I was okay. like, yeah. <laughs> that's the, the, that's the yeah. true origin. Sure. So when when I, I I when I broke my back, I'm not gonna get into it. I broke my back in grade twelve, but uh, shout out Barry. When I broke my back, my life kind of turned to shit. And uh, I was just like, how am I going to eat healthy and like not exercise and not just gain a shitload of weight out of like straight depression type vibes? Mm -hmm. And I ended up just bringing nuts everywhere. And I only drank one tequila and I didn't buy Chase because it was too expensive type shit. Yep. And like, I was like adamant about doing the things that I do and like, I didn't spend money like I like I knew like every single penny that I spent per month. I'm like really good at not spending money. And when I spend money, it like means something. Usually it like yeah. physically hurts them. Like I just bought a girl a flight from Brisbane to Sydney. Unprecedented. Unprecedented as fuck. $200 <laughs> flight. $200 flight. $200. This, <laughs> this man, this man bought a fucking Australian or Canadian. <laughs> Australian. <laughs> 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 I've, ne I've never met someone with money. Honestly, keep this shit in. Who so gives a fuck? Fucking tight with his money. <laughs> Probably never drank go out with you and eat. I <laughs> drank more than that. Eat ass. But, but long drink. story short, I did that. And like maybe four or five days before we were flying here, I was like, dude, I'm never going to buy a bitch a flight ever. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. He's like, what fucking idiot would buy a did you, flight? Did you specifically go through and like, what's the cheapest flight when you're booking? Oh, Tiger Air. Yes. Yes. Tiger Air. Bro, you know, you know the private fucking Google Chrome? Come on. That's the cheapest. Always. The what? The private Google Chrome. All right, this will make you, this will make you hurt. Flights, private yeah. Google Chrome. This will make you hurt. You go in like incognito, go on Google Flights. Oh, That's where you find okay. the cheapest. Yeah. Yeah, how that. much money That's I've shit, spent yeah. on women, like just as a whole. Like, not I just feel like Chad will fly a woman okay. in from America on business. You won't even fly. You're flying the them on day? Tiger Air economy yeah, from econ fucking for one sure, state. Bro. Well, he, he, here's a recent Holy event shit. that I have. I hooked up with a chick, and then I wanted to spend Fuck. the day with her the next day, and she's like, I have work. And I was like, fuck it. Call in sick. And she got fired because of it. <laughs> wow. We, so, you, were you like, I need to pay you an allowance so now. I need to, I, find I, a new I, job. So I said, well, every time you come over, I'll just pay your Ubers. She's a whore then. Well, she got a job. Like, yeah, but you're <laughs> paying her as a hooker. Yeah, I felt bad because she lost a job. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I've, I've literally sent money to women that I haven't had sex with because they were like, like, oh, I've had sex. It's okay. like a sugar daddy, no, no, no. Sort of thing, like a I've, sugar mama I, I've thing. I've paid women that I'm not having sex with, but I've had sex with because like they're struggling. Let's have some money, bitch. Have some money, you peasant. <laughs> All damn these cold. guys are like uh -huh. women messaging oh. me. The girl says it's damn Musicians cold. Musicians be like, you can women. Hey, it's ask her how tight her pussy is. <laughs> <laughs> Send her a video. Boy, let Chad do it. Let just give him the phone. Let no, him say. I mean, oh, it. I just, just give me the phone. It was funny. I'll give him the phone, but don't fuck it. I won't it. ruin it. I won't ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> Coronavirus. <Holy shit. laughs> Please let me see that. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Shit. It's still 
sending. It's still sending. Uh, we're fucked. I just saw a photo and I was like, I was sending a picture of my flaccid cock. Some chick's trying to message him, so I just sent a photo of my cock. Oh my God, she's replying. I am so sorry. That is not my penis. I stole the <laughs> that phone. That's <was> <laughs> my cock. Oh my God. That's my penis. I said, this Melbourne weathered. Hey, look at this. And I said, oh my God. <laughs> All right, we'll do our shot. What's, what's this one too? What's this too? So what? Wait, what's your, what, you, wait, what, what was your realm called? What? What's your spine server? breaker. Yeah. Spine breaker, baby. Spine, spine, spine breaker. breaker. Baby, no money. I would like to ask you, what is your favorite song that you've recorded yourself? And be honest. <laughs> you answered this yesterday. I, I like genuinely super ultra fuck with this song named Sriracha. Sriracha? Yeah, it's like you performed that today. Yeah, it did. I also really, really fuck with a lot of the songs that will be coming out this year that I, per, you know. Can like, we I, put them in this the Snoop Dogg song? At? Stay on the lookout. Uh, I have like 45 songs, just like 50 songs just sitting. But uh, like, I genuinely fuck with making music all the time. Like, let's. Is that part of being an artist though? Making so much shit that never gets released. The like, thing is, is there, just, how much the, how much of your stuff just hasn't come out, and you've just been like, not a lot, honestly. I try it. Like, okay, so if I make a song, <laughs> you're looking, you're like, eh. really? How many songs you got on that I feel laptop? Like about half of the stuff you've made hasn't come out. Okay, Dan, maybe. how many songs you got on that laptop? Be honest, and how much can we sell on for? my laptop? Yeah. Not that many, but I've definitely heard a lot of shit that doesn't come oh, out. Okay. Probably like, will never come out. Because it sucks? <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> pretty much. But long story short, like, there are some songs where I'm just like, I really fuck with the song, genuinely. Mm -hmm. Like, and I know people, like, wouldn't really fuck with it, but I, I take it, I sit down, like, a year later or something, and I'm like, all right, how am I going to make the song better? Yeah. And, you know, my next 13 songs with Lentra. Uh, he died. Fuck off. He's good. And uh, my next thirteen song is like we've, we. S Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he stood up on the chair. Me <laughs> neither. <laughs> I was expecting was someone to break their neck. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> dude, that that zoom is gas. Uh, long story short, it's just like. Sometimes you make a song, yeah, obviously, like, the general public doesn't like it, but you like it enough, yeah. and you want to hit it again, you want to work on it, and you want to make it, you know, like, I don't really care what people think about my music, but I have to get enough opinions from generic people, mu musical people, and, like, just people in its entirety yeah. Yeah, to put it out. Like I wish I was like a Frank Ocean. Well, I, but I, at the is same it, time, like I'm, I'm sure Frank Ocean is getting a lot of like opinions, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure Kanye is getting a lot of opinions. Is there a lot of? Is there a song in particular that like you've, uh, you've recorded in the past, and you've come back to revisit that's out now that you can, you could say this uh, something that you came up with ages ago, but it took you a couple of years to finish. No. No? Uh, <laughs> Shit. I, would I say, was hoping for a great answer. You could have lied, man. No, I'm like genuinely. I yeah. would say the longest time I've ever spent on a song that is out now. The thing is, is like, okay, once, once La 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 happened, you know, like my musical career was like, all right, let's just like overdose on steroids. So I was like, holy shit. Like, this is super real. This got real really quick. And then, you know. I'm doing Baby Gravy 2 with Gravy, and that was a lot because, like, I, I love making music with Matt and, and Y2K and Lentra. It's, like, it's an amazing time. Like, making music is... There's something with making music that is... I'm, I'm sure it's very similar to, like, you know, doing podcasts and, like, editing it. But it's, like, I feel like I noticed a little bit more caring in my music and a little bit more, like, I guess, anxiety on what people thought because I have so many more eyes on me. Yeah. So ever since like La 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 came out and like the music e after that came out, like I've been spending way more time on music. Like, you know, I write a hook and then I'm like, all right, I'm going to write a good verse to it. But originally it would just be like, all right, I'm going to wake up. I just write a full song just like that. And now it's like if I write a hook and it's a good hook, then I'll finish the song. And like I've always kind of been on that, but like not to the extent that I'm on now. And it's like I'm always like kind of like second guessing myself and like overthinking a little bit too much do you feel like sourcing outside opinions from either other musicians or just people around you helps a lot with the process or you think it kind of messes you up a little bit 
I'm really good at taking critique. Yeah. That is one thing that I'm genuinely good at. Yep. Like, yeah, sometimes it pisses me off. Sometimes I spend like two or three hours like writing something and people are like, yeah, this is trash. And I'm like, that's <laughs> and that's all I can say. Yeah. But like, I know some artists like just genuinely wouldn't be able to take that. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, like I know for a fact that there's people out there with like an ego that's big enough to be able to hear this from one person and just be like, holy shit, like yeah. I can't deal with it anymore. Yeah. But like my manager, like Antonio, he he rips me a big one. Yeah. When I, when he doesn't fuck with a song and he's just like, nah, I don't fuck with it at all. Like this, 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 this. And I'm like, do you feel like music is subjective? Because I've heard a lot of songs that like Suckles and, and like any of the misfits are into. I'm like, this shit sucks. But they just fucking like music that, is they'll they'll they'll, they'll music. like Zuckles will ride or die for some like ghetto fucking like Australian like hip hop artist. And then I hear it, I'm like, this sucks. Do you ever feel like when someone comes to you and like this sucks, do you ever like have the like the thing about yeah, like, well, it's just not their genre, it's something they don't like? Because like I listen to some gay music. I Dude, listen to I'm, some I'm real, not gonna like, lie, music is probably the most subjective thing out there. Like art is the most subjective thing. Like you could look at this wall of grass and you could you could you could meet a you know an artist that is like holy shit this is the most inspirational thing i've ever seen in my life he must be on a lot of acid you could also see another another kid that's just like i'm a jack off on the wall (laughs) like you know like it 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 really is on how you interpret like what you want to interpret it it's like it's kind of the same thing with poetry like like haikus in my opinion are like the most absurd and ridiculous form of poetry because it's like like five seven five Mm. And if you can fit 575 with some random ass fucking syllabulation inside of that shit and it speaks to someone, then it spoke to someone. But at the same time, like you say, like guacamole, guacamole, chicken fried rice, good, guacamole, guacamole. And it speaks to someone and it, like that's their favorite poem of all time. Mm-hmm. Then fuck, that's their favorite poem of all time. But so like, music is subjective then. Is that, that's what you're saying. I didn't say art in general. That, yeah, like, art is like category. the most subjective thing of all time. Like, yeah. like there's, this there's nothing yeah. else that's more subjective. Like food, banging food tastes good. Fucking bottom line. Food. Art is all it's food. Food, bottom food can be so art. What does banging food mean? We fucking banging food. All right, all right. So everyone everyone asks me and they're like, yo, like, what are you trying to eat? And I'm like, good food. And, and they're like, and they're like going. They're like, what's good food? My dick's falling off also. And I'm like Good food. Big burger. No, I'm talking like, <laughs> no, I'm just genuinely talking like tasty food. Big burger. I, I've been to places that are like, you know, four and a half stars, four stars that don't taste good. Most of those either. places don't, either they don't or the portions are so, but it's like golfed in being artistic and small. Exactly. And present, the it's presentation is part $30 of the, for presentation, but no taste. Yeah. I go home. I put, I, put poop on a plate and it tastes good. Well, it doesn't like, fill you up as well is the problem. Exactly. And it's like, as long as it tastes good, I don't know. I hope you're not eating fuck. your own shit on a no, plate obviously at not, home. Bro. What do you eat at home? Good? What would you eat at home that would be like? Me? Oh, if I'm eating at home, like I will, I will give you my breakdown. This is what I do every day. I wake up, I get a big ass pot of coffee for Lentra and I. We both split it. We sit down, we have a nice pot of coffee. We make music, we do our bullshit. And then usually I don't have enough time to like really buy groceries in, in Vancouver. So like, cause if I buy groceries, they're gonna go bad if I don't eat them. So for the most part, I don't usually buy them that much recently. But if, if, if I was, I always get a massive bag of spinach from Costco and I pretty much get every single vegetable. I get hummus, sriracha, most importantly, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, pepper, and for lunches, I usually cook up a, you know. I'm sorry. Protein. How did I leave to go take a piss? He's talking, talking about, about salads. Shut up, bro. Man. We get the salad. Shut up, man. Right, He's talking on. about his go lunch, on. bro. But, you know, like an avocado and like. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had for what? Say again. Avocado. <laughs> Say it one more time. Ava- avocado. <laughs> you know, you know, you got an avocado. Mix it up with pepper. Put hummus in it. Mix it up. Where can I get throw this on Uber into Eats? The, throw it into the salad. Bro, that is, is like made, brother. that is like a more like a predominantly like non lettuce or spinach salad. Then you mix it up with like balsamic vinegar, uh, sriracha, and olive oil. This is why you're pepper. giving it. This is and why you, you give the out the cookbooks, isn't it? Fuck out of it. You're obsessed. And then you sit there 
with like a bowl this big of fucking delicious gas ass salad. And you're just like, I don't know. I just eat it for like an hour. You eat salad and you're like, holy shit, I just ate a whole salad for an hour. For dinner, I usually only eat until like How did we get onto fucking diets? I went and pissed for 30 <laughs> I seconds. Need, I need to piss now. I'll be interested in what you're talking about when I get back. All I'm right. not going right, to go over your dietary supplements. Yeah, let's just shit talk Max the whole time he's gone. <laughs> let's be honest. Who do you know before, me or Max? Who would you DM first, me or Max? Be honest. you. That's sweet. But I mean, I guess Max, I guess Max tweeted that shit. You did what read you tweet. Okay, know. that doesn't count. Didn't even know him back Bro, then. I remember that came up. And then Kraus was like, yo, check this tweet out. Kraus is a big Max fan. I will say that. Kraus is a legend. I miss Kraus. He used to be it, fat and he got real skinny. And then uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Zuckles also was just like doing. Yeah, Zuckles, Zuckles made a dance in his room. And it was just him just like tweaking the Tony Thought. I remember when I dropped Tony what? Tony Thought, like the song, like oh, okay, I'm trying yeah, to pull yeah, over. Yeah. Oh yeah, on my half fight, Tony, Tony Thought, Thought, money floors in my bank account, really and it don't long stop. Fucking a lot. 2018. That was like two years ago. Yeah, it's an old song. Honestly, it's a really old song. Yeah. Hey, hey, podcast. Should we invite girls over right now? Leave a one or a two in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will just kill any woman that comes here and it, it cannibalize her corpse. Max, we're cutting it off. Say goodnight. Hello, puppet. What's happening? We're in it. What are you doing? Well, thank you, Mr. Money. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, Dan, for coming on. Appreciate it. Good app. Good app. We usually... We, yes, definitely photos. We usually oh, end it with something Let's get chaotic. some Instagram photos as well. Yes, I think we will. Three, two, one.